building MCPs way faster. Today, guys, I'm going to share with you amazing resources for finding great MCPs. It's going to be a very short video. Before I dive into um, all the directories that I found for finding MCPs, let me share with you a bit of context. What is an MCP? So basically, an MCP is an open protocol that standardizes how applications provide context to LLMs. And they say here in the blog post, think of it like a USB port for AI applications. Just as USB-C provides a standardized way to connect your devices to various accessories, MCP provides a standardized way to connect AI models to different data sources. So basically, MCPs, MCP servers allow you to connect different external data sources to uh, LLMs and whether you're using a cloud or the cloud desktop or IDE or tools, it's just a way that standardized different um, like interaction between different component components. So for example, when you have MCP hosts, so program, programs like cloud desktop, IDEs or AI tools that want access data for MCP, MCP clients are going to be protocol clients that maintain one-to-one -one connections with the servers, and the MCP servers are going to, to be lightweight programs that each expose specific capabilities for st standardized MCP context protocol. So it's like APIs. You can imagine, imagine this as if it's APIs to different uh, types of services that you have. You have a quick guide over here, but I'm operating under the assumption that you already know what is the MCP and this is what just like for slight context. If you want I to start messing around with MCPs, I highly recommend that you download the cloud, the cloud um, desktop app. This is the cloud desktop app. Once you download it, you can come here and see exactly all the MCP servers that you already have. So for example, Playroute, Playwright is an MCP server that I have. GitHub server is an MCP server that I have. File system is an MCP server that I have. Just to clarify, for example, let's say the GitHub server, it has a few tools. And then I can, via this um, UI, I can, I can interact with my GitHub repository. So can you list all the GitHub repositories that I have. I'm hoping that it will pick up the GitHub. Yeah, as you can see here, I need to allow this and it's going to find all the GitHub repositories that I have. So this was just an example. Let's say here are all the GitHub repositories that I have. Let's say that I want to use a different servers that I already have. So let's say what, uh, let's say I want to use a brave search. I'm not sure if I need API here. Can you? This is just an example. So it's going to search for your own bin in brave search. It's encountering an issue, but let's see. Um, what is his website? Not crucial. I just want to see if it's not working. We'll just move on. Still experiencing a 404. Never mind. But this is just to show you like what are the options that you have with MCPs. So obviously you need to dive into the, the documentation of each specific server and see what are the tools uh, available for each server. But what I wanted to share with you today is while on one hand you can build your own servers and it's very easy to build them if you're using Klein, which is a, a, a Visual Studio Code extension that allows you to automate an, an AI coding assistant that allows you to almost automate MCP generation. It has this tab over here, which lists all the MCP servers that I have. If you want to build a new server, you can just come here and just type what you would like. Can you build an MCP server for me that is using Puppeteer in order to scrape content of websites? 
So I'm using voice typing, which is native to Windows. Just hit the Windows and H button, just to clarify. Still typing this, so let me close this. Sending the API request. I'm using a uh, Claude, and it's generating the MCP for me. So this is one alternative. The other alternative, which is the main topic of this video today, is different MCP directories. And these directories are basically um, servers that people already built, and you can very easily uh, deploy them on your end. So here's the first directory. Um, it's called mcpservers.org, and basically you can sort different uh, MCPs based on the use case. So search MCPs, so let's say Brave Search, we can click the button here, we can view the GitHub repository of the MCP, and it tells us exactly what are the features. So web search, local search, flexible filtering, smart fallbacks. The specific tools that are available in this MCP is Brave Web Search. The input that you need to add is the query, the count, so what is the maximum results per page, and the offset, uh, which relates to the pagination. Another tool is Brave Local Search. This is how you configure this specific MCP. So you add the API key, etc. So this is uh, one MCP as an example. Then we have another MCP, just as an example, YouTube, which fetches YouTube subtitles. And these MCPs are built by very often private people. So you can see it's open source, it's on GitHub. You need to validate or verify the the, the code before you start using it. This is just an example. So basically this YouTube MCP server uses a, a Python library to download, download subtitles from YouTube and connects it to Claude via the MCP protocol. Try it by asking Claude, summarize the YouTube video. Um, so this is another example. So this is the first directory which we have. I highly recommend that you just go over all the alternative. The second directory, which I, I, I like more, is this website. It's called glama.ai. And then you come here to MCP slash servers. And over here, you can also filter based on different use cases. So for example, file systems. And then you can see all the different MCP servers that are related to file systems. And the great thing about uh, this website in opposing to the one that I showed you before that you can also sort by date added, date updated, the amount of weekly down downloads, and the amount of GitHub stars, which is very valuable. The next alternative, which they are all somewhat similar, I'm I won't be surprised if um, they all scrape each other, but um, I like every now and then just coming to all of these MCP servers directories and just seeing. If there's anything interesting that piques my curiosity that I didn't think about, or maybe like an, an update or an, a server that is more powerful than the, my current server. Another example, this is a, a community server by for Tavili, which is basically a search engine. You can see not too many folks, not too many styles, probably um, not necessarily worth exploring. The next directory is this one, chat MCP, and it has slightly more uh, stars. They also have a website, which is called mcp.so. You can see they have 402 MCP servers stored. And same thing over here, you can see um, all the servers, when they were updated, and once you click on the specific server, you have slightly more context about the server so what is the server about how to use it the key features the use cases etc and the last but not least is this repository which contains uh, more servers it already has 1400 stars on github and you can see here there are different types of servers so browser automation servers this is a list of all the servers then 
as and culture related servers, cloud platforms. So for example, the cloud failure MCP server, you can come here. Basically, this is a, an MCP. I think it was built by the Cloudflare team. Yes, it was built by the Cloudflare team. Let's see other servers. So command line servers, communication servers, database servers. So a server for Postgres. I think this is uh, an official release. Yes, this is an official release by in this repository. I think it. I think the repository was created by the Anthropic team. So again, here you can see the Postgres SQL server. What are the tools available? How to install it with Docker? How to install it with NPX? And the licensing. Mm, yeah, I guess that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to share with you a few directories because I know a lot of you are building with MCPs, are building MCPs because MCPs are very valuable. It wasn't my focus in the last couple of weeks, to be honest. I'm more focused on uh, workflow automations using AI agents, but I'm always trying to keep myself informed about MCPs, although it's, it's a new topic, but I try to stay informed and up to date. And since I found these directories, I wanted to share with you guys because anything that I feel is valuable, I just uh, start recording a video about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any feedback, please, please leave it in the comment section below. If you have any criticism, any ideas, obviously feel free to leave it in the comment section below as well. If you haven't subscribed yet and you're interested in AI related slash automation slash AI agents related content, please like and subscribe. And yeah, until next time, keep on automating.